Hello friends, I am here Kripa Shankar once again with you. We would like to inform you that the content on studentsrunway.com is exclusively compiled for distribution solely on studentsrunway.com. You may use the content for personal learning or pass it on to your friends, but please do not use it for any commercial or institutional use without acquiring prior authorization. Any tampering of watermarks of studentsrunway.com or Krupa coaching is liable for legal action. This is Krupa signing off. Thank you very much. All the best. Kid is holding a bazooka. B-A-Z-O-O-K-A. -O -O -A. a bazooka is a portable uh, shoulder fired rocket, rocket launcher. This is a picture of uh, soldiers standing in line and firing and the word for that is fusillade F-U-S-I-L-L-A-D-E fusillade means simultaneous or rapid continuous discharge of many firearms so a fusillade of questions that is an implied meaning that means you are being bombarded by a barrage of questions synonyms for fusillade is barrage B A R R A G E. Of course, the word barrage also means a dam, an embankment, a levee. L E V E E. Levee is a, an embankment which is uh, built around the river or on the banks of the river to prevent the water from flooding the neighboring areas. So, fusillade, barrage, B A R R A G E or barrage, volley, V O L L E Y, which means simultaneous firing. this is a bead necklace B E A D beads small rounded piece of glass or wood which are or even metal pierced together for uh, stringing a string of beads necklace a rosary R O S A R Y a rosary is a string of uh, beads which is used in meditation or uh, religious uh, chanting and devotional exercises Oh, this chimpanzee is giving you a big beam, beaming, B-E-A-M. Beam simply means a big smile. This is the bear skin, B-E-A-R-S-K-I-N, bear skin. Bear skin is a, a tall fur cap uh, as part of some military uniforms, especially the British uh, soldiers who guard the 10 Downing Street uh, that is the Prime Minister's residence, official residence that's bare screen is a cap. In this picture you're seeing a man meeting, beating up another one with a cane the word is lambaste L-A-M-B-A-S-T-E lambaste means to beat soundly, thrash it's a synonym for based. Lambaste also means to scold or denounce severely denouncing severely D E N O U N C E denounce means to accuse publicly or inform against condemn strongly condemn strongly decry D E C R Y censure C E N S U R E indict I N D I C T arraign A R R A I G N we came across all these words vituperate Vituperate, V-I-T-U-P-E-R-A-T-E, vituperate means to strongly condemn and abuse, incriminate, upbraid, U-P-B-R-A-I-D. So decry is an important synonym for denounce, decry, D-E-C-R-Y. Decry means to openly denounce, openly speak against, strongly criticize, criticize disparage strongly. This is the picture of a small animal, the beaver. B E A V E R. A beaver is a large rodent and they gnaw down trees. Gnaw, G N A W. G N A W. Gnaw means to cut, bite, and wear away bit by bit with the teeth. Corrode. So beavers are known to gnaw down trees and they also build canals and dams. Uh, making beaver ponds and uh, sometimes this is uh, uh, this is what causes uh, 
flash floods flash floods so beavers are rodents which are notorious for building dams small dams they gnaw down the trees and do that this is a mad house this is a picture of a bedlam b e d l a m bedlam in olden days bedlam was what an insane asylum used to be called and sometimes a hospital for the mentally ill was also called a bedlam so today we use the word bedlam simply to indicate any state of confusion or any place where there's lot of noise and confusion pandemonium clamor chaos that's bedlam and uh, bedlam can also mean a madhouse an insane asylum this is the picture of a beef steak s t e a k a steak is a slice of meat uh, which usually doesn't have any bone and it is marinated and uh, grilled broiled b r o i l broil means roast uh, these people are actually bee keepers and they are sitting on those boxes which are uh, what you call apiaries a p i a r y an apiary is a place where bees are kept bee hive you are seeing a mash tun actually t u n s steel barrel tun means a steel barrel this is a large cask uh, maybe for wine or beer or ale whatever so it's a very large one usually having some 200 gallon capacity uh, gallons as you know a gallon is nearly about uh, 3.8 liters nearly 4 liters so this is about 200 250 gallons this is a mash tun t u n cask well this is simply the picture of beethoven a great composer german composer this is a beetle a beetle is a kind of insects b e e t l e many cars have been designed on the same uh, you know design so this is a beetle now this is the picture of a monster a huge monster behemoth b e h e m o t h a behemoth is a biblical monster uh, somewhat uh, uh, assumed to be actually modern day assumed to be the hippopot hippopotamus but actually in the bible the behemoth uh, represents a huge monster and so today you can use the word behemoth to describe anything that is really huge and very powerful hello friends kripa shankar here again with you we thank you for your interest in kripa coaching and studentsrunway.com if you find our content useful please like us on facebook follow us on twitter and subscribe to our youtube channel and hope we hope you give us a plus 1 on google you can also subscribe to our email list and be notified upon new updates thank you this is krupa shankar signing off good luck